Hello everyone, my name is Sophia and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video all about my hair color and I'm so excited to talk a little bit about my hair color because I've been wanting to do this video for a while now but I wanted to give my hair even more time to just show and demonstrate how these products really do work. Um, and so this is going to be all about uh, how to keep your hair color from fading when you dye your hair. So for color treated hair, um, this is going to be for you and I hope that it helps. I'm going to show you guys products and give you guys tips on how I've made my hair color last for give or take five months. Um, so I did my hair back in January and it was like around my birthday, um, which my birthday is January 25th. So I did it kind of like at, towards the end of January and um, it's now... May 8th when I'm filming this and it's literally still very rich in color and I'm really really shocked and like thankful because this dye wasn't cheap I did get it professionally done um, and when you do get your hair professionally done you want to keep it even more like perfect because you just paid so much money I have box, box dyed my hair in the past and that just tends to fade really quickly but it depends on what kind of box dye you're using and kind of like your technique but for me I just really wanted to do something professional. I did do a video on it so you can go watch that video just to see my hair color transformation but um, I'll just get a, put pictures up of my natural hair um, around here so you guys can see that it's like a lighter brown color and when I dyed it, I dyed just like this really rich chocolate brown, which is still a very rich brown, um, definitely darker than my natural hair. And it's all one color. My natural hair tends to get lighter, especially on the ends. Um, and in the summer, like the top of my hair, just like everything gets lighter with the sun. Um, my natural hair is like a very light brown. Um, and so yeah, that's what I did. I went from light brown to dark brown, brunette, and I have loved it so much and I want to talk a little bit about the things that made it stay so yeah let's get right into the tips and the products so tip number one is of course to just not wash your hair as often so when you get it dyed you want to wait like a day at least um, the day you get it dyed to uh, let the color sit in your hair I left it um, almost full two days like I did a whole day and then the next day I waited till like the very very end and then I washed my hair um, very late at night and I did like a nice like shampoo rinse with the shampoo that I'll show you guys in a bit um, and that just in like ensures that your hair will keep its color um, for longer because you you're letting it get into your hair for a longer time when you first get it dyed um, obviously I'm not a professional I don't know every term and all this stuff but I have been told by all the professional hairstylists that I've had um, to let it sit in my hair so that's what I did um, and then throughout the past like months I have been washing my hair the least amount possible my hair does tend to get very oily so I do wash it um, from time to time I go a little bit longer but I do I do wash it and I really really like washing my hair it makes me feel super clean and just fresh so that's kind of why I wash it a little bit more often but I do use a shampoo that's specifically for color which I'll show you guys the one that I've been using and talk about it a little bit because I do really like it so yeah I do that and then I give my hair one day a week to clean and just like get like any residue and anything out of it with a clarifying shampoo um, and I use a pre shampoo with that so that the color won't come out so you want to be using products that are supposed to be like blockers um, like fade blockers and things like that there is um, multiple brands that make them but I use a specific one that again I'll talk about in a second but just finding different ways that you can wash your hair with color shampoos or pre like shampoos and stuff that's gonna make your hair not fade um, and then washing it the least amount possible keeping your hair very healthy so I use oils like the Gizu hair oil I really like that one and I use leave-in conditioners I do hair masks and all that stuff and I'm not showing all of those because that'll be in a like actual hair care routine in the future but I do really like using those products because I think that when you keep your hair healthy, your hair looks better and um, it also keeps growing and it just 
I don't know, it just looks more nourished. And when you dye your hair, your hair can tend to look a little bit dry and less like hydrated and healthy just because you have put like chemical products in them. So definitely doing that really, really helps. But again, like the biggest tip that I have is to not wash your hair as much because that's literally what's gonna take out the color. But especially when you are washing your hair, you don't wanna use stripping products. So do your research on what products and what shampoos and stuff you should use on your hair, but I'll give you guys my suggestions. Um, and just make sure that those products are good for color treated hair because that's how you want your hair to be like nourished and cleaned. You want your hair to be nourished and cleaned with products that are specific for that hair type. And it's just like any hair type. So if you have dry hair, you want to use hydrating products. If you have oily hair, you want to use other hair, other hair products and just like other uh, like categories in the hair product line. But um, yeah, for hair color, color treated hair is something that should be on the bottle. So yeah. Um, I want to show you guys the products. So I'm going to start off with my shampoo. This is the shampoo that I started from the day that I, that I got my hair done. I started using this. I bought it literally the day after I got my hair done. And it's the Redken Color Extend Shampoo Protection for Color Treated Hair. So this has definitely been one of the best products for my hair. Uh, it's been the best shampoo. I really, really like this shampoo. I do think that it's made a big difference. And the reason why I like to use a color shampoo, uh, color safe shampoo, and a color safe conditioner, which I'll talk about in a second, is because I concentrate this shampoo on my roots, kind of up to like my ears, and then from my ear to to my ends I use a conditioner so I don't really use them all throughout my hair obviously when you're washing out your shampoo it's going through your hair and onto your ends but um, I really really like using this in my roots and I really felt like my roots haven't faded very often or very much I mean and I really really attest to this shampoo I think it's really really helped and I really like it so again this is the Redken color extend uh, shampoo and they do have different uh, color extend lines. I just use this red one, but there's other types and there's some that are for different colors. Um, so definitely do your research, but Redken is a really great brand that I've seen that's really worked. Obviously, everyone has different experiences with products and different brands. So if you've tried Redken, haven't liked it, go and search for something else. But this is definitely one that's useful for me and really has worked for me. Um, and when I was using that, I was using just a random conditioner. I didn't really have a color safe conditioner until I tried Amika. And Amika has the best products, guys. When I when I tell you the next product after this one, you need it's you need it. And Amika has the best products. So Amika has this Vault Color Lock Shampoo um, and conditioner line. And this is a, this is the conditioner. I don't use the shampoo because I've used Redken from the start and I really liked it. So I didn't really want to switch that up, but I did search for a conditioner that would be good for color treated hair and I found this one. It's very, very nice and nourishing. It's very, very thick and rich. Um, so you don't want to use too much because that'll definitely create a lot of buildup. I use a dime size amount, like a dime size amount, and do it from the ends of my hair, from the, my ear to the ends of my hair. And it does the job and it leaves my hair really soft and nourished and just clean, um, but very, very hydrated and, and stuff like that. So I really like this. I also love the smell. I think it smells so good. Um, and I really like it. So, um, of course, I need to talk about my favorite product in this video. This is the Amika um, Fade Block Pre Shampoo Color Seal. It's literally the product you need. If you're gonna take any product from this video, you need this one right here. It looks like this. It looks kind of like a hair dye bottle. And you put this in your hair on dry hair right before you get in the shower for about three minutes. And this really has done the trick for making my hair color not go away. Like seriously, this has been the one product that I would recommend to anyone that dyes their hair. And the reason is because it kind of gives this like film onto your hair. It's not like anything gross. It doesn't feel like anything after you take the shower, but in the shower you can kind of feel how it leaves this like leaves this like barrier between your hair and your shampoo. And I feel like that's what's really really helping cuz it's like a locker. 
um, and seal for your hair and it's just the best product and I really really like this and I really recommend it to anyone that dyed their hair it's like the best product and I really really do think that that's out of all of the products in this video that's the one that really did the job and did the work for everything obviously the shampoo and conditioner are great and they work in conjunction with this but this is just the best so definitely try it out so as I said before, I do like to have a clarifying day and on clarifying days, I use the On The Rocks Clarifying Charcoal Shampoo from Dry Bar. This product is amazing. It makes my hair feel literally so squeaky clean, almost like stripped, but not in a bad way because when you use clarifying shampoos, it is gonna strip your hair, but it's stripping it of that gunk and that buildup from the week prior. So you're using this kind of at the end of the week when you've washed your hair, when you've put in a lot, a lot of products in your hair and all that stuff and you're using it to clarify your hair. So that's what I use when I want to do a little bit of a clarifying day. And sometimes I do use this before because I don't want it to like strip my color, but it really hasn't stripped my color at all. Um, and it's really, really great and I really like it. Again, it makes my hair feel super clean and like just amazing. Uh, one thing I will say though is that my ends don't feel as nourished when I just use the conditioner or the shampoo Sorry, so I use this shampoo um, Oh my gosh, I keep getting them mixed up. I use this conditioner from Shea Moisture That's the daily hydration conditioner with coconut milk and acacia Senegal uh, I don't really know what that is but i just know that shea moisture is a really really great brand shea moisture is sulfate free and color safe um and this specific one is but this is really great it really is a hydrating conditioner and i feel like that's very necessary when you do a clarifying shampoo so i like these as a pair and i like these as a pair and i like this as it's like pair for everything it's like the best, the best, the best, the best. And then for just after the shower, you want to do a leave-in conditioner just to keep your hair nourished. And I use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I really like this. It's always been like my ride or die um, for after the shower. It's a pretty great product and I really recommend it to anyone looking for just a good leave-in conditioner that has an amazing reputation, honestly. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I know that it wasn't that many products, but honestly, the one product you need is this. Um, again, it's the Amika Fade Block Pre-Shampoo Color Seal. Go get this. But also, these other products are amazing, and they do like like 10 times the work that other shampoos um, I've tried have done. So I've definitely done my research and really tried out new products, and these products all of them are really, really great top of the line products in my opinion. And I really think that they've had a huge difference on my hair. These gardeners, okay. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching this video and I hope you guys have an amazing day, year, life, weekend, week, whatever. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video.